MJF, Darby Allin, Jungle Boy and Sammy Guevara are the future of all elite wrestling and some even call them the four pillars. But what about women? Many talk about Britt Baker, Thunder Rosa, and Jade Cargill, but I think there's one more strong candidate for the years to come, and that's Chris Statlander. So, without further ado, let's see some interesting facts about her. Number 10. Origins of her alien gimmick. Chris is also known as the galaxy's greatest alien, but how did she come up with this gimmick? Unlike other gimmick origin stories, the answer to this one is pretty straightforward. Chris just loves science. Statlander has revealed herself to be a huge science nerd, so that explains being billed from the Andromeda Galaxy and also the names of two of her signature moves, the Area 451 Splash, and the Big Bang Theory. Even though I like her gimmick, I think a change is necessary down the road, especially if she's to become a champion, and I'm sure she'll have a title run, so. Number 9. Her Relationship Status Do aliens have relationships? Well, yes, at least Chris does. She's dating fellow wrestler Caleb Conley, who is working for Impact Wrestling. He had a match on All Elite Wrestling's Dark Show, but that was it. I don't have any more info on this, but yeah, she's taken. Better luck with your next pro wrestling crush. Number 8. Career Accomplishments Chris may have not captured All Elite Gold yet, but she's achieved a lot for her age. She ranked 26th in the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Top 100 Female Wrestlers of 2021. The thing that makes this even more noteworthy is that she was on the bench for a good chunk of 2021 due to injury, and she still managed to rank this high. She was also number 6 in a similar list by Sports Illustrated for 2019. Chris has also captured lots of title belts during her indie run in multiple promotions, including Victory Pro Wrestling, Women's Superstars United, and Beyond Wrestling just to name a few. Speaking of all the places Chris has wrestled, there's one place that she really wants to visit. What's one place you want to wrestle in? I was booked one time to wrestle in the UK, and then the day I was supposed mm. to fly out, the Thomas Cook Airline shut down. Number 7. The first ever. Former WWE producer and current All Elite Wrestling producer Pat Buck, and ex-WWE superstar Kurt Hawkins, also known as Brian Myers in Impact Wrestling, are also respected pro wrestling teachers. Their wrestling school is called Create a Pro and it's located in the New York area. Chris Statlander made history for the school by becoming the first female trainee to graduate from the program. Fun fact, Max Caster and MJF have also trained there, so it seems that Create a Pro does indeed create pros. Number 6. Real Name, Height and More You won't believe Chris Statlander's real name. Are you ready? Drum roll please. It's Kristen Statlander with a D before the T in her last name. So, slight change but I think we can categorize her as one of the few wrestlers that use their real name as their ring name. She claims to be from Andromeda Galaxy, but I'm here to expose her. She's actually from Long Island, New York. She debuted in November 2016 and she's quite tall, standing at 5 feet 9 inches, or 175 centimeters for my European brothers. Chris was born in 1995, which means she's 27 years old, just like me, which makes me wonder what am I doing with my life. People my age are television stars and I'm still unemployed. Anyway, more about my problems later. Number 5. She's a professional at other things too. Many wrestlers aren't just pro wrestlers, but they have jobs unrelated to the business, such as Britt Baker who is also a real dentist too. Chris Statlander falls under the same category. So, what's her other profession? She's a massage therapist. Chris didn't want to just remove that side of her life for wrestling and that's probably one more reason why she signed with All Elite Wrestling instead of WWE, as All Elite Wrestling allows their wrestlers to have a life outside of wrestling, while WWE's schedule is exhausting and it would be impossible to have a second job. It might also violate their terms, since WWE is notorious for wanting to keep the kayfabe alive, so they wouldn't want you to watch Britt and Chris on their show, and then go to them for braces or a massage. Number 4. Yet another profession. You thought being a massage therapist and a wrestler would be enough for a human being, but not for Chris. She's an alien after all. Her other profession of Chris is being a stunt woman. Her strength, agility and endurance are what make her a good wrestler, but these traits are also useful and necessary in the stunt world. Now to be fair, I'm not aware if Chris follows Brit's footsteps in this aspect. 
Brit is definitely working full time as a dentist. I don't know if Chris practices her other professions, but either way, she's a multi talented woman with lots of options. I don't think she'll ever need them though, as I think she'll eventually become a main eventer for All Elite Wrestling for the years to come. Number 3. She's a good singer too? The many talents of Chris have no end as it seems. She's not only good inside the ropes, a stunt woman and a massage therapist, she can also sing. Don't believe me? Here's proof. I, I wrote you a song. I'm really nervous, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna look away and I'm gonna sing it and um. And they say you don't talk, I think they've got it wrong. When they say you don't feel, and this might not be real, then how are these feelings so strong? They'll tell me I'm dumb for thinking a human is for me. But they don't know that you're Orange Cassidy. Number 2. Her WWE Past. Almost every major wrestler under the sun has some ties to WWE, whether that's working a dark match, or on NXT or even as a quote-unquote local competitor. So, has Chris ever worked for WWE? Yes she has. She competed and lost a match against the Iconics. The match was enough for WWE's higher-ups to discuss an NXT contract offer. Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, WWE's background check led to a few old social media posts being flagged. I say fortunately because she's doing pretty good in all elite wrestling so far. I'm not sure she'd had the same fate in WWE. Anyway, Chris explained that the search is very thorough and they go through everything. The flagged posts were about some weapons that were used discussing her stunt work. This slowed down the process and all elite wrestling made a good offer that was enough to sign her. Number 1. She's a BTE star. Many All Elite Wrestling stars have appeared on Being the Elite, but not all of them are regulars. Sometimes this is a good thing, because Being the Elite is mostly comedic, and some people's kayfabe character would be negatively impacted by overexposure, such as Darby Allin or John Moxley who rarely appear on the show. However, some people are perfect for Being the Elite, such as The Dark Order, and best friends including Chris. Her chemistry with Trent, Chuck and Orange Cassidy is evident. Here are some clips of her best BTE moments. Mission log? That rhymed. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Hey! I'm gonna abduct you. Oh, 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 I'm gonna jump off this You know boat. what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait, why? What? Because if you land on their horns, it'll go up your Oh! 